guys, welcome back to Big Bum. This is Seax. I say it's Connor. What's going on, y'all? And today, welcome to our favorite Attack on Titan. Yes, it's time. Season 4, episode 21, from you 2,000 years ago, which is opposite of the first episode, from you 2,000 years in the future. Anyway, um, so we got a revelation. Aaron is actually in control, not Zeke. Thank God, but still, we don't know what Eric is going to do. Because, the rumbling, obviously. Well, yeah, we do know that, but it could be more than just the rumbling. Yeah. Um, he's been manipulating people throughout the timeline, just controlling everybody and kind of whispering in their ear, telling them what to do. So, and Grisha said he stopped him. You got to stop him. Mm -hmm. And it made sense because, you know, the when looking back with the Kruger episode, Kruger told Grisha to save Armin and Mikasa. That was Aaron too, so it's like we. There's so many moments that I'm dead. you could probably Aaron go back probably to Aaron. Went was back and was like, mm. so Grisha when he was like, mm, "What should we name our child?" Aaron probably was like, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that means like Aaron. I don't know if that means he's like the last attack titan, like person to inherit it. Like it dies with him or something. Like how how he is he in control? But how do you do that? Because technically, when you die, it's supposed to, if you don't. Tri like pass it on like on purpose then it's supposed to just randomly go to the next born Eldian so I swear to child yeah but I'm saying but if he's the last one like what makes him in control out of everybody that's inherited it like Aaron blocked Grisha from seeing the future and stuff like that like why is he so in charge unless he's the last one somehow he destroys the ability or dies with it I don't know how I don't know. There's so much we don't know. It's like we're in the final season, final episodes, and still learning so much. Like it's like we knew nothing. But in, this series has so much rewatch value because you you learn something and it gives you a whole new perspective on the show. Like it's insane how they write this. But we're gonna get into this. I'm ready to see what they got. Full and early reactions are available on Patreon. They're gonna show us how he crushed everybody. They're expecting her to win, bro. She didn't stand a chance. Look how little her Titan is and how beefy his is. Got all the neck meat. Grisha. Y'all had to show this. <laughs> Dang. The child. Snapped his spine like a twig. They showed how he crushed the child. Yeah, it is. We already starting off ignorant. These episodes go too fast for y'all to be showing the same stuff. We could have picked up right here. He's still chained. So that only happened because Zeke did that. So he couldn't do that on his own. Zeke bringing him there was able to Ain't no way we we're going through with this crackhead plan. That is some dedication. まだだ。え、この世の何者にもできない。ヒストリアは他の子に。ヒストリアも他の子が好きでしょ。うん。いつも他の人を思いやって優しい子だからね。this is Ymir's past. Good, because I need to know what happened to her. Oh my. She's 
She was a slave. That's why she. And she seems enslaved in the little area there and now, in the memories, where the corner it is. Who is this mother? Y'all are sick. Is that why their faces are drawn like that? Because they don't have no eyes? <gasps> Y'all are dirty. What? A kid? Y'all. Y'all ain't shit. <laughs> no, they're hunting her. She got an arrow on her back and her eyes bleeding. They're sick. Maybe I didn't want to know her past. Tanji is back from Sarah. They took her eye and then hunted her. Y'all let a little girl go through this. Y'all are sick. This is the tree where it all started. If anybody should activate the rumbling, it's her. For them. Oh, yeah, that eye. This Loki looks like the tree in the OVA, too, that, um, what was her name? Alamese, Ilya, or something? Found when the Titan was acting weird. This poor child. This is I hope it burned each and every one of you. Everybody. She's the first Titan. Uh, yep, get all of them, Ymir. Yeah. All of them. What do you mean she did well? She followed his will and she took his baby. Through her child. Her Titan was scary. And then another child. Ooh, they got him up quick. She took the... She could. They chopped her up and made her kids eat them? Her kids were named after the walls. Well, the walls were named after her kids. And this is how the powers got passed around. And this is how we multiplied. Oh my God. She continued to be a slave out here. Where the titan she was building the wall, like the titans in the wall. Right? 
Body back or a body. Because this happened in a snippet of a moment. It said everything can happen in an instant and through in an infinite time. So it can be quicker, but it can feel long. Oh, they're coming. Oh. Rumbling time. Get away from the walls. Get away from the walls, Mika Sun Armin. Yeah, get her. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Nah, she'd be the one to be allowed to witness it all. No, Haji and the mask out there. They should be able to see it coming and get out of the way after, like. They can go somewhere underground. Okay, yeah, you're right. All those underground people are safe. Titan you're near, obtain the power of the Titans when coming into contact with something. For generations, her blood and power were passed down by the Eldians. We're gonna continue this and I'll talk later. It's Aaron. What even is it though? We won. Oh. Yeah, because he's not killing our people, so it's not like he's trying to massacre the world or nothing crazy. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. What? He brought them there. Oh my God. At least he gave the people um, on Elvia a warning. His people, Yumir's people, a warning. So that, well, they can't even escape. But there's, he's just said there's no escaping. This is all that's going to be left. He's killing everybody. But he I pretty much just it. said anything beyond moment, this island. Yeah. I don't think he considers Marley Eldians his people because they've been fighting against them. I mean, I think if you're here, you're here. I mean, he may still kill Rainer and then when he comes back around, but like, I mean, cause you're not, they're not gonna just let them walk around, but like, yeah. wow. He's gonna kill, I mean, I don't agree with that. I love Aaron, but I, I just don't, I'm not agreeing with mass murder. I don't want to Marley control world though, but. Well, if this is what it takes to not have a Marley control world, I'm with Aaron. He Go ahead. I'm not with the killing though. Who's grabbing arm and shirt? I know crying. Gobby ain't trying to do something. The island's walls are gone. Oh. I mean, yeah, that. They still have to deal with surviving because the titans that Zeke turned are still and there. And they're killing all the food. But at least they get water. So, but Because the ground just broke to water. But they're killing all the food. So. Well, if Aaron's in control, he can change their bi biological matrix. So where he could really make it to where they don't need food. Yeah, he can change everything about their physiology. 
Like they don't need water you or food. You should make it to where they don't need food only like once a month or something. Honestly, Armin and Mikasa are not going to be on board. And none of them are going to be on board with him just murdering the entire world. But it, that's crazy how it happened in a second. They couldn't even move, you know? That's what it explained. It said that the, you know, where the coordinate like, is. I took all the information and everything else going around on it. Well, they already knew what he was going to do, the rumble. And, and they had to make a choice whether to help Marley or, well, do nothing, which is helping Marley, or help Aaron, which they knew he was going to do the rumbling, but Armin was banking on the thought of he was just going to take down Marley's alliance and threaten the world, not actually destroy it, which I would have preferred he threatened them and got peace mm -hmm. instead of killing him. I don't agree with him just killing. There's so many innocent people out there. True. All these, you know, they don't all deserve to die. So, yeah. yeah, Marley maybe, but the rest of them... They haven't really done anything. Not that I can, not that I remember. It's mostly just been Marley sending and that, Titans and keeping the cycle alive. Like the threatening would have been enough. But he just sent like two to Marley. I don't know. It, there's other. There's. I'm sure there's still more to learn because it's possible that it's not just Aaron making this decision. That Ymir is too because look, she was crying from all the pain and stuff she's endured. For she, two thousand years. She probably hates crazy. the world just as much as Aaron does. Yeah. So she, this could also be her. Like he turned into some creature, but I don't know. I don't want to think that she's using Aaron to, as a face of all this. Cause what, what would she be scared of? Like, yeah. but why would I just, I don't know. I can't keep giving Aaron the benefit of the doubt. I like the character. I sympathize with everything he's been through, but killing everything and everybody is just not right. I don't see that being the ending. Um, not with all these episodes left. That can't just be it killing everything and he knows his friends and family are gonna want that so they're gonna have to try to get through to him but he's that weird creature like he's just like bones walking like you met was that's weird that's crazy and then how you can just summon him like that to talk to him that's insane power this episode man i, I want to rewatch that scene right there i don't know what i'm gonna do but i want to know in that preview just now, who was grabbing Armin's shirt? Because they about to, mm -mm. no, that's a no. It's probably Rainer. Rainer's probably going to try to. No, that talk was not Rainer. They had like. I didn't see who we were talking about, but um, they're probably going to try. They already know Armin and Mikasa, if anybody. Those are only two that can say anything to Aaron that maybe can convince him to change his mind. That's it. Because even through all this, we know he still wants to protect those two. So. Maybe they do something they, drastic or they're going to have to try to get through to him. That's the only way. But I just hope he's not too hell. And then that image that they showed at the end with Aaron's face. But it was like a creepy drawing. Like, what the? That was scary. <laughs> this episode was like a horror episode. Like, it was a horror film. Like, everything Yamir went through was horrifying. Like, the king and how he treated them. And then how he had them chopping up her body. Feeding it to his grandchildren. Like. No, his children. That was his children. Well, yeah, his children, then his grandchildren, and then, like... I don't even say that as his children. That was Ymir's children. It's sick. He made it so that the abilities kept getting spread on. So, that makes me wonder, was there more than 11, but we lost some of them? Yeah, definitely. Like... Because some of them didn't probably eat the type of body. Yeah, because we know there was a resistance at some point, so maybe some of the abilities were lost, and only the ones that they knew of. Because you know, they at a point they started making people eat them, so you know, and passing it on to a specific person. So it's like, because they they stopped it just being the royal family; it passed on to just non-royal members, not just regular Eldians. So I'm wondering if some of the abilities got lost. Because like I said, that opening in season. Three, I believe, was Zeke, the Beast Titan, was running with all those creatures. Like, were those Titans at a point? Mm -hmm. Like, and then we had, like, it showed, like, ruins and the, just basically the skulls and the bones of... But my animals. question is, Ymir got that thing touched her. Why did she come out and go back to the king? She's, I think, just be because she was a slave. Being a slave was all she knows. And then... And then She's an Eldian, so they have to obey the command of royal blood, right? So maybe it has something to do with that. Their blood? They have to obey the royal people of royal blood. I mean, he wasn't, I don't know. He wasn't any, he didn't have any abilities. So yeah. I don't know why she followed him so blindly. Why she didn't just kill them all. Like she was, she's just a slave. Maybe 
because she was young and that was all she knew or I don't know she's for some reason she just felt compelled to obey all his orders and anybody of royal blood I, I don't understand it but maybe I just need to clear my head and rewatch and look it all through but I don't know why she followed him when it, I don't know because she helped build the entire empire and she created her own race she created the Eldian race because you know, they started, because that thing changed her blood, so it created a new race. So everybody that she created and that they created all just could possess those abilities, and I don't know. But why they had to follow them, I don't know. And then how the Ackermans, where they come from, and how they were born to resist. Well, they were born to protect the king, but they could also, they can't be turned into titans. So, like, how that all came, like, I don't know. Like, all this stuff, all this DNA stuff starts to get confusing. But maybe once I, if I can sit down and break it all down, I can understand it a little better. Because it's a lot. This show is very complicated. Yeah. Very complicated. My mind is scattered. Yeah. I want, I, we didn't get to see when uh, he contacted everybody. It didn't show Levi and Hanji, did it? I don't know. That's why I said I wanted to rewatch that part. Mm. Well, we'll look at it again. But yeah, I didn't, because I didn't see Levi Hanji. For a second, I thought it was showing dead people. I, I don't know why I thought Commandant looked like, they look like pixels. Like, um, they, they, um, they share facial features. Something. They think. didn't show dead people? No. No. Because they're dead? Right, because they're dead. But I thought for a second, Commandant was pixels. So I'm like, I well, he did, did he? Line. I thought maybe he could turn back the people who turned into Titans back to human. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's not one of his, uh, maybe he can't do that. But that'd be kind of cool if he did. But it's kind of weird. If you can control all Titans, you should be able to, like, restore them to their human forms, I feel like. Right? And you can command them. And why is he not commanding them to stop attacking? Because in the preview, they were all fighting Titans still. So, like, why not? Maybe he's just oh, not thinking about it? or when those Titans, when the Rumble and Titans were walking, those regular Titans are still coming towards the wall. But he can control them. He can control all titans, so why is he not stopping them from attacking? Maybe he just wants them to wipe out Marleans. Maybe Ymir isn't letting him. She wants all people. No, she That or he's just people. tunnel vision and only focused on the one thing. Mm. But that, I don't know. Because he should be stopping them. Or he, he, like I said, he could just be having them kill all Marleans. Anybody that's not Eldian. Oh. He, they may not attack the Eldians. But the Eldians may be like, well, we don't want them to die. So Mikasa and them may kill them. I don't know. I don't know, because Mikasa definitely chopped somebody up in that uh, preview. So, it's either they're saving them or they're being attacked in there and just didn't stop them. So, I this thought she was so saving much. Gaudi or nobody. I don't know. I thought she was going to crumble, and I thought Flock would too. Irritated about that, but it is what it is. We going. <laughs> this was good. Like, I'm ready to get in. I wish we could just binge, but we we got to wait till next week, y'all. There's. Did I tell you about like John is gonna see what happens when I go, right? Is he? How's he yeah. gonna see that? That's why I saw TikTok that showed a manga panel and he was like Well I don't wanna know that, but maybe if they all go back to that place and they touch the coordinate that it's like yeah. a flow of memories, maybe they could go see specifically specific moments or Aaron, if he can see everything, he may share specific things with everybody. Yeah, that I, I hope mean. he does that. I, but we got to get him to stop what he's doing because I, I don't agree. With, I, like I said, I, I sided over Aaron. I sided with Aaron over Zeke and what Marley was trying to do. I, I agree with him over them, but I never agreed with him going to Marley and massacring them. That didn't help anything. And I don't agree with him murdering the world. there's still Eldians over there. They might hate the Eldians on Paradise Island, but they that's all they got, you know? Mm -hmm. so. And I don't. Yeah, so I didn't, I mean, it, honestly, nobody's right in this war. Nobody. But I I didn't agree with Zeke's plan. That was not a good plan. And I did, Marley just wants to enslave people and kill everybody. So they're dumb. And then Aaron, he's just on a war path. But there's he's not beyond redemption. He's, I think, like I said, I'm going to make a civil region with him. And I'm going to leave it at that as my prediction. Um, anything you want to add? Well, thank you guys for watching, and of course, we want to hear what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe to Patreon for full and And we'll see you guys next week for more Attack on Titan.